Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Because uh, we entered username which is not exist. That is the reason here my expectation is error should appear. Okay. So here uh, if I use a command say uh, no after this say uh, this is the send email scenario gmail send email okay once this is done I want to click on compose email and uh, mention this to uh, what we call what we say uh, to field subject field uh, Um, body and then click on send button okay so this is the scenario that we wanted to automate but however say I'm mentioning that here we are going to enter a username which is not exist okay our expectation is to get an error okay suppose you know verify command means this command this command this set of commands verify commands will verify this message is presented in the application or not okay here if you observe here when I am trying to you know let me delete these two just to avoid confusion observe here I am saying command here observe here verify if you observe here it is listed out so many comments here you can just observe here so that is the reason I am saying one of the categories verify. Okay. So apart from that, verify alert, verify alert not present. Verify alert means alert whether alert is uh, there or not. Okay, we are expecting that alert should be there. Here ver verify alert not present. Here we are expecting that alert is not presented. Okay. Like this, there will be so many comments on verify. You can observe here. Okay. Generally, we will look for element present or element not present. See here, verify element not present. Here, element means which can be anything. Okay, that is the reason uh, most of the times we use in verify commands verify element present, verify element not present. Okay, here, see here, verify element present. So, however, you can you can find if you observe here. There are so many commands available on verify. Okay, so these are all commands have the proper uh, no one thing called it will verify whether a particular option is there or not. Let me complete assertion, then you will understand uh, no, the clear understanding of uh, verify also. Okay, so if it is verify, what will happen? Your script will verify this. Okay, it will done. It will verify. After it will verify, it will try to perform this step. Okay, now let me talk about assertion. Yeah, in assertion, say uh, you know, use run command. If that command is got uh, failed, say you are saying verify uh, element not present something. Okay, 
uh, you are saying that you are verifying that this error message is uh, expecting you are expecting error message okay or you are expecting actually compose email okay you are expecting compose email instead of compose email say it it throw an error error okay in assertion what will happen you are expecting compose email but in your application instead of compose email it is basically throwing error here so here the assertion got failed on compose email assertion got failed on compose email if assertion shows a uh, no wrong result you know assertion will be done here assertion will be done on this object i mean to say it will done on this object and it will stop here itself The basic difference between assertion and verification is simple. Actually, I made it a bit complicated, but it is very simple. You know, verify command. It is verifies the commands irrespective of whether it is pass or fail. It will continue. Okay. Verifies and irrespective of. Pass or fail, it will continue. Okay, but assertion verifies and continues if it is pass only. Okay. So assertion command is something like if the if it is passed, then only it will continue with the next line. Otherwise, it will stop there itself. But verify is not. That is the basic difference. This is very 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 important with respect to interview. Okay. In Selenium IDG, I can say this is one of the uh, one of the most frequent interview questions that we can come across. Okay. Uh, I think I have some uh, questions. However, uh, you know, as we come across one question. Okay, uh, difference between verification and assertion. Okay, what is the uh, difference? What is meant by verification and what is meant by assertion? What is the main difference? Okay, there is a difference. It verifies and uh, irrespective of whether it is pass or fail, it will continue with the next step. But it will not. If it is passed, then it will continue. Otherwise, it will not. Okay. When we should use verification and when we should assertion? Generally, assertion will be used in terms of navigation. Navigation here it means from one page to the other page. Here, this is a login page, right? Till this point, it is a login page. Then it is a uh, no this page uh, inbox page, right? So. Whenever you are going to you know perform some step in the next page, basically it is better to validate whether that page is appeared or not. Okay. So in terms of uh, navigations, generally we will use assertion. If the page is not coming up, we will stop our step there itself. Okay. So the question is here: When we should use the verify? When we should assertion? Means, you no. Know, it depends on this your scenario. Say if one ver verification is failed. If if we feel that you know if it is failed, you know there is no use of continuing. In this example, say your login is get failed. In that case, it is no use if you continue your execution, right? Because your login failed, there is no use of there is no meaning in continuing the compose email functionality because your login itself is failed. Okay, in this case, it is better to use assertions. Okay, basically you have to understand that thing. But when we should use verify, when we should assertion. I know the hint is it's better to use assertions when you have navigations or when you have a dependency. Like if your login is failed, there is no use of continuing your compose email. In this case, it is better to use assertions. Okay. This is about verification and assertions. Okay. Now let us talk about uh, verif verifier. However, let us see these commands. I was showing this verify command, right? Yeah. These are the verify commands. 
in similar way when you press assert it will give all its assert commands okay these are all commands which are on assertion again here also we will use assert element present assert element not present okay so element not present assert element present these are the two commands generally we use okay now let us talk about the next set of commands wait for commands the aim is supposed to saying uh, wait for commands okay which are nothing but synchronization commands yeah. again this also we generally use in general in conjunction here uh, not only wait there will be something called click and wait also will be there uh, see here again the same thing wait for alert wait for alert present so generally we use this wait for you now when you perform click operation and something is getting refresh in your application we'll use wait for so this what will happen it will wait for basically that uh, you no know, object to be get refreshed or the you no know, object to be get appeared okay again it also we generally use wait wait for element element present or wait for element not present okay so wait for is something like a synchronization command when you perform a, some operation okay it will basically wait for the next object to be appear okay for example uh, you know in this example you click on uh, username you click on password you, uh, i mean you entered as username you entered password you click on sign in okay your expectation is compose email should be there okay so it is taking some time in that case what we can do here wait for element uh, element present compose email so that i uh, know it will wait till that compose email object is appeared okay so of course it has some i uh, know some time out around after 30 seconds it will throw an error of course okay so it will maximum it will wait for 30 seconds so wait for commands uh, no this we can also call it as uh, synchronization commands again uh, it also it also have some set of commands okay now let us let us talk about store commands store command basically which stores the information uh that we can retrieve some value from the application for example here let me ex explain about some um, example here see here i'm saying store uh, let us take let us uh, let us to google application let us try to enter some value here observe here here uh, So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training 
at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.